Hello and welcome to another tip on Maximo. I'm your host, Chris Winston from Project Tech. Today we're going to finish up our Start Center series covering the portlets of the bulletin board with a brief overview and key performance indicators. Next up will be query based reporting where we'll take a look at the format tab. As always, should you have additional requests for topics, please send an email to media at projectech.com. The bulletin board is available to post messages to users throughout Maximo. It may be within a certain org, a certain site, or groups of sites, or groups of orgs, or we may use person groups or some combination. Remember, expiration date is required. You can also use this to generate a communication that can be sent out to them assuming you've configured uh, a tie-in to a mail server that you can send from Maximo. In addition to being able to put the bulletin board portal onto the Start Center, you'll also find that bulletin messages will be identified on the navigation bar. Uh, in the case here we have the work order nav tracking navigation bar has an indication of bulletins and then in parentheses would be a number of bulletins awaiting that individual user. They can review them from there if you do not wish to take up uh, portlet space on your start center for the bulletin board. For key performance indicators, this is something that you will generally use when you have a quantity to monitor, a single number or several individual numbers that you want to monitor. And whenever you are thinking about uh, key performance indicators, you should all think about what are acceptable values. Uh, those values that would require caution and those that it would indicate alarm or some action is required. And those will display in areas on the key performance indicator as green, yellow, or red, respectively. Uh, Maximo will support uh, several different views of the key performance indicator, of course, including the actual value uh, that's found, uh, the target value that you're looking for, uh, variance, and then there's a trend indicator. And depending on the choice of display, if you choose a single KPI graphic, it'll give you a sort of dashboard speedometer uh, view. If you combine multiple KPIs into a single chart, then you have a choice of pi or bar. Uh, generally, the, the key performance indicators can be created directly from a maximum application, um, assuming that this, as well as anything else with Star Center Design, you have security rights to do so. And from there, you can run your query, and I'll show you an example of that in just a moment. Uh, the main thing about this is that when you go into key performance indicators, this is one area of Maximo where it's important to know both structured query language and the entity relationships or the data model and understanding of the, the underlying database for Maximo uh, so that you can not just properly but efficiently design the SQL statements that are required for the key performance indicator. You can display multiples within the same graph, and again, we'll take a look at that uh, also. Um, last thing to keep in mind with these is that uh, you must have the KPI cron task turned on for trending data. That will give you your uh, additional data points that will allow you to trend a single KPI as well as other KPIs if you wish to compare them one against the other. When you go to design KPI uh, portlet, whether it's graph or list, the design is pretty much the same. Uh, you'll move into the design portlet, you'll choose select KPIs, and from there you'll get a list of KPIs available for you to choose from, which you can filter on, and go ahead and build uh, your portlet design. Uh, just as examples, on the left we have a KPI chart, which combines four KPIs um, that you can see. And over on the right, we've got a, a bulletin board portlet. Again, you, you may choose not to put this on your start center, and that's fine. People will still have access to it. Uh, then we have a single KPI graphic display with, as I mentioned, the speedometer type uh, display. Uh, and then you have the KPI list. And both the KPI list and the KPI graph will show you 
uh, title information, the actual target and variance. So you'll always get that. It's just a matter of whether or not you want the graphic uh, component as well. As you move into uh, a KPI and review it, you'll get the trend for the single KPI. Um, beyond that, if you want to compare, you'll have this Select KPIs button, which will allow you to then look at the list of KPIs and select additional KPIs, which will display separated by comma, and then display the individual uh, trending from those KPIs. And again, the trends occur because you have the cron task running and is creating your data points most likely on a daily basis. Uh, the additional trending KPIs that you add in will then give you a key at the bottom indicating which uh, the different lines are represented by uh, for each KPI. Uh, the KPI design tab, again, this is where the structure query language comes in and is important. Uh, but again, whenever you're building a KPI beyond the SQL, you, you know, maybe even the first thought about it is what are the acceptable or target values where you'd find caution uh, and alert or action and again those will give you the specific areas in the graphic uh, for some additional and more useful display. The KPIs are based at the org level so if you want a KPI for a specific site then you want to make sure that you specify that in the structured query language clause uh, to identify that site or those sites that you want to be included. In terms of creating KPI from the application, essentially the navigation is to run a query and then click the Create KPI button uh, and then from there you will have your query passed into the KPI design port and from there you can fill in the title, description, target caution alert, and additional information if you want. And let's go ahead and let's take a look at Maximo. And we'll just go ahead and build that portlet. So, or that start center. So we'll go ahead and on the left, let's see, we had a graph. On the right, uh, bulletin board, graph, and a list. And we'll finish that off. All right, so our KPI graph here, this was a combination of four, I believe. So we'll select here, and I think that was resolved. Okay, now, when you filter the list, if you want to select them all, you can just click on the Select All button, and that will bring them all into your design. Uh, here we had a graphic. Uh, let's see, that was KPI 4, I think. There he is. We'll finish him off. And here, well, let's just grab all the old KPIs. There we go. And we're going to just select them all and put them on a list. And finish that off. So now we have that same portlet designed, and as I mentioned before, bulletin board can be message can be on the portlet, or you can grab it um, directly from uh, the navigation bar. You're still able to get to the details uh, of whatever the message is, either from the navigation bar or from the bulletin board portlet. Neat feature now is that once you have reviewed the message, the next time you refresh the start center, uh, the message will be gone. And let's see, uh, I'll look at navigation. Here we go. If we open up a KPI, again, it takes us to our trending, and then we can choose select KPI, and we can grab a few others. Uh, let's see. We'll grab those two and we will refresh the chart. Yeah, not a lot of difference there. Uh, let's change and let's look oops, look at a different range. Uh, 
So you have some flexibility and the graphical manipulation that you do within uh, the key performance uh, indicator design, but you can also go into the historical values, but you have to do those one KPI at a time and then download them to Excel and chart them however you like. Um, again, if you have other requests uh, at any point for uh, additional topics, please feel free to uh, send an email uh, to media at projectech.com. And again, next up will be query-based reporting, where we'll take a look at the format tab. Thank you.